Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 12, Introduction to IoT, dealing with IoT device design and selection consideration. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Come let's go into the video. So why we need to see about a design of a device and to choose those devices why there is some consideration. Generally, when you are developing an IoT application, the selection of processor is must required. Only when you select the processor, there will be developing of any sensing elements that can be done in the processor. So, this selection will be governed by many parameters. How the parameters is chosen is, it should not affect the use, usability, design should be simple and best, it should be affordable, and there are many other parameters like this to be considered to design a device. So the main factor of this IoT device design and selection for various application will be your processor. This processor is actually the main heart of the application. So to design this processor, there are various considerations we have. So first consideration is size. Why we need to see about the size? So this size becomes a crucial factor for designing the form factor and the energy consumption of a sensor nodes. When you have large form factors, then the energy consumption will be on the larger side. Large form factors actually will not be suitable for any significant uh, very high uh, processing application. So when, when your uh, application is like uh, it is designed for a military services, all such kind, then uh, yeah, if you have a large form factors, it, it might not be suitable. It will rely on only minimal form factor, like it should be uh, affordable. So size is considered as a first parameter. Next is energy. So the energy required for the process will be the important one to decide about how the IoT sensing based solutions will be. So now when this energy is on the higher side, when the energy requirement is on the higher side, then higher will be your energy source. Energy source is nothing but the power that you are feeding to your processor might be battery or through electricity. So higher, when, when the requirements of energy is on the higher side, then the energy source will also be on the higher side. So this, when this is on the higher side, what happens is it automatically lowers the sustainability. It cannot sustain more, uh, see if energy requirements become higher and higher, obviously the cost becomes higher and higher. You keep spending more on the energy sources. So obviously when you're spending more, for the energy sources, the sustainability of the system reduces. Okay, next factor will be your cost factor. The cost of the processor or cost of a sensing element, sensors, will be, will be the uh, one to decide the density of deployment of sensor nodes. So when the cost of the processor and sensor is on the higher side, then it is difficult to design an IoT solution which will be affordable. You cannot do that. So cheaper the cost of the hardware will, will have a higher density. It, it can be deployed uh, at any locations or anywhere you think. So cheaper, uh, for example, cheaper gas sensor, fire deduction solutions will, will have their sensor cost and the processor cost will, will be on the lower side. That is why wherever, wherever building, uh, whether it is apartment or mall or wherever it is, this fire deduction sensor is uh, placed so that it helps once the fire, uh, fire has caused, then the alarm starts alarming. So because of, uh, uh, always remember that the cost should be on the lower side, then only the affordability will be better for all the IoT solution. Next is memory. So the memory required, how the memory should be is, it should be both volatile and non-volatile. So like if you are uh, using features such as local data processing or data storing, data filtration and data formatting, so you, uh, you rely upon the memory capability, right? Where the data will be processed, where the data will be stored. Obviously, nowadays everything is stored in a cloud. 
or you are storing it in your drive or when when you are storing it in the drive the drive needs separate memory capability right so the device with higher memory will be obviously costlier when you go for purchase of laptop 4 gb ram or 8 gb ram which cost high 8 gb ram will be obviously the cost is higher on the higher side right so the, these all requirements based on the uh, based on the requirements that the solution needs or the application needs you have to choose next is processing power so processing power is one of the vital one to decide what type of sensors can be used in an iot solution and what processing features can be integrated with it so this processing power will be deciding the type of applications also which type of application an iot is associated with so if the application is handling handled handling a video or image data then it requires iot devices with high processing power because high quality of image should be produced and high quality of video should be produced so based on the application the processing power will be decided based on that okay so these are some of the consideration that you have to, you have to remember when uh, selecting an application and designing an application so next is input output rating so this input output rating how it should be is it is deciding the factor that it will determine the circuit complexity see uh, yeah, when what input is fed based on that output you will be receiving so the energy you say it is a circuit that you design and each and uh, every power requirements everything will be based on how you choose your input output rating okay so when you are choosing a new process processor then the voltage rating will be of 3.3 volt generally we use 5 volt based on that when, when you are using newer processor then it is 3.3 volt so what happens this will translate to requiring additional voltage and logic conversion circuitry see so directly when you supply a power of 5 volt then it is fine if suppose it is not the case only 3.3 then additional circuits has to be added to the technologies to make the processor run to the required limit so see lower uh, power consumption can be of uh, due to reduced input voltage levels or additional voltages and circuitry can be can affect uh, the complexity of the circuits it can affect the cost despite of all these be, with this input and output rating you are interfacing and integrating many circuits level okay based on the prior presence or based on the priority you decide what processor should be used whether it should be highly powered or it should be on the lower side or how it should be developed all these depends upon the input output rating okay next add ons so the support of various add ons processor uh, add on processor this iot device provides us like analog to digital conversion inbuilt clock circuits connection to usb and ethernet inbuilt wireless access capabilities and all these combined together with some more features it will be helping you to define the robustness and usability of the processor when you are designing an iot application so the provisions for these add ons will also decide how fast the solutions can be developed based on these add ons the speed of the solutions can also be developed like if you are taking a hardware part then it is add ons are more required to make the hardware respond to the user at the fastest rate right so that's all about this consideration stay tuned for more information thank you